Ready. I really need my mama to give me motivation And my girl kept telling me, telling me what I need to do I was the one I ain't had nothing, she bought a nigga some food Yeah, that was crazy Alright, next up, JR, JR, 007 First of all, that's, I never knew that was his name I think somebody told me that like a long time ago But it's drive-in official music video, Trench Mob Y'all know what time it is. Shout out to shout out to Diamond Visuals. Y'all know, y'all know how I used to, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know, cause Diamond Visuals, they the goats. I'm telling y'all, they next up, I promise you. They net they now up. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. I'm talking about right after World Star type stuff. They they finna blow. I'm telling you. I'm telling you for real, for real. Like they blown right now, type stuff. But let's get into it. Just called dive in. Did I say drive in? Let's do it. Let's see what he's talking about. Yay. You know. Dumb. Hey, all right. So he already starting off by basically his normal routines. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> he explains and he basically goes kind of in depth in his song. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm guessing. I'm making assumptions right off the bat. Yes, that's what type of person I am. And this is what type of video you clicked on. Yep. We get in deep and we understand the music because we respect the culture and we respect ourselves. You don't just play it and just go with the flow. You know what I'm saying? You actually break down the lyrics. You actually break down the what you're listening to. You know what I'm saying? So he basically talks about pressure. Pressure could be different. Different type of pressure. You know what I'm saying? It could be... It could be like scared. It could be fear. It could be... Uh, things coming together that apply... That, ap that applies... And it, it just... It don't... It don't go right. You know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? So I don't know where he's from, right? I don't know where he's from. I just know I listened to a couple of songs, and I was like, okay, this dude, he gonna be a star. I could tell. I could. could tell, I could tell. You know what I'm saying? Even when I was back in the closet, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to 3306. You know what type type of time But even when I was doing that, and I was Reacting to Diamond Visuals, I could tell. But he basically talk about his dead homies, uh, like he missing them. You know what I'm saying? For sure. You know what I'm saying? Cause when you come from that type of lifestyle, when you come from the streets and people getting, you gain enemies, you gain all these extra bull. People want your head. You know what I'm saying? People want your head. People want, people want you to die. People so when you growing up and you talk about a lot of stuff and you in private and you actually selling drugs, doing all this extra stuff. Dumb stuff where you gotta look over your shoulder, your back. You gonna you gonna die. Somebody around you gonna die. Go to jail. And that's a hundred percent fact, guaranteed. You actually deep in the streets. A oh, one foot in, one foot out. Somebody dying. Somebody going to jail. You are somebody around you. A hundred percent fact. You know what I'm saying? Unless y'all a one with the sauce with it, and some other stuff is is coming into play. Well, I don't know. What am I gonna use for about it? I hate that. I hate that. Ecstasy, drugs, lean, codeine, promethazine, Jolly Ranchers mixed with promethazine, Fanta, all the extra bullshit. Um, that's what these rappers take, right? So all of you fans out there that actually, okay, I just started sipping codeine and per Percocets and all this extra stuff because Future do it. That's dumb. That's dumb. You created pain. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I don't. I can't understand what he's going through. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he lost some friends, and he can't cope with it the same way that I cope with it. You know what I'm saying? So he he run the drugs. You know what I'm saying? He run the drugs to run away from depression, to run away from all of that. Now I've been depressed before. You know what I'm saying, and we all actually go through it. You know what I'm saying? Because we all had death death in the family. We all had like relationships that went wrong. We all probably messed over people. Uh, 
some more than others. But basically, it's what I'm trying to get down to is like, it's other other ways that you could cope with it. But most people lean to codeine, promethazine, Xanax, drugs, weed, you know what I'm saying? They lean to substances that allows them to be under the influence and basically unaware of the situation and their surroundings. That's dangerous, for one. Uh, for two, it's very highly addictive. I'm not saying, oh, I'm the perfect person that don't that don't do drugs, I don't preach drugs, I don't work, whatever, whatever. I'm just saying, once you get on these drugs, eventually, you're not even going to be worried about what actually happened. Like, let's say somebody died, right? You start taking drugs. You're not even worried about them no more, right? You're not even worried about them no more. But you continue to take drugs to eat, just forget about them. Basically, you know what I'm saying? Even though, oh, basically, over time, you forget about them and just, it's kind of hard to explain. It's kind of hard to explain. Basically, you take the substance and you use the substance to basically replace the pain. You know what I'm saying? But uh, and all in all, you're going to feel the pain regardless. So, you know what I'm saying? But don't do drugs. <laughs> I like that. When he actually got in the water, he said dove in the water, whatever. I like that. I like that. Shout out to Diamond Visual. Shout out to the idea whoever came up with that. You know what I'm saying? That's different. I never seen it. You know what I'm saying? His his video quality is just different. Cause he used to be just like three or four locations, and then he got his homie with him, his homies with him, guns, couple of burners, AKs. You know what I'm saying? Nine millimeter Glocks, just different little toys. You know what I'm saying? Something to play with. Um, and they just bouncing whatever the case. He could have did the same thing. But it's more in depth, you know what I'm saying? It's better quality, you know what I'm saying? It's obviously more concepts, more di different areas, you know what I'm saying? They got like a better B roll, you know what I'm saying? They had like some homeless, they had some like downtown or whatever in the city scenes, you know what I'm saying? It, it was. Alright, there, there go his homies right there. There go his homies, they died. Oh man, that's crazy. That's in paradise, man. That's crazy. But uh, that's pretty much it for the vid. Dive in is what it's called. Um, shout out to Diamond Visuals. Until next time, you know what type of time I'm on. I really need my mom to give me motivation. And my girl kept telling me, telling me what I need to do. I was when I ain't had nothing. She bought a nigga some food. Yeah, that was crazy.